Hey everyone, it's Ryan. You're going to have me for two weeks in a row. I'm pitching in because unfortunately, Jim is trapped in Scotland. So you're stuck with me for this week. This week, I want to talk about I'm late for everything. If you ask my friends what my one really bad weakness is or my one really bad character trait is, it's that I'm late for everything. Everybody expects me to be late. I mean, late for everything. We're talking about work. We're talking about social engagements, everything. Let's talk about work, for example. At the bar, people expect me to be five minutes late for my shift. Rationally, I know you're supposed to be at your station ready to work when your shift starts. And yet here I am five minutes late driving into the parking lot. My boss at the college has said stuff to me. I just had a performance appraisal and everything was great about it. Except there's two things that I need to, to work on. First, I need to work on getting the minutes out faster. AKA I'm late getting the minutes out for meetings. And second, I need to work on arriving to work late. It got so bad that uh, a couple weeks back, so our dog, we take him to doggy daycare a couple days a week. One of the times when I was dropping him off, they, they looked at me and they're like, what's, uh, what, what do you do for a living? Well, you know, I, I work at the college. I'm an administrator. Oh, okay. We were always wondering why you were dropping him off so late relative to everybody else. It's just, it's, it's a thing. I am late for everything. Uh, and it's, it's it really comes down to poor time management. It's, it's just a really bad habit that I've gotten into where I don't really think about how long it's going to take me to do tasks. I don't really think about travel time if I have to go somewhere. And so I end up having to rush for everything. It's gotten to the point where when I was thinking about New Year's resolutions, I was thinking about what kind of behaviors I wanted to change. I don't really set New Year's resolutions uh, in the traditional sense uh, because I know that I'm going to fail the first month I'm going to fail. I'm going to probably fail for the first uh, quarter and I'm probably going to fail for the first half of the year before if I stick with it, uh, I'm probably not going to do very well. And so instead of setting resolutions, uh, I try to think of what do I want to keep doing? What do I want to stop doing? And what do I want to start doing? And one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to stop being late for everything. I wanted to be more mindful of my time. And I wanted to track the number of times that I was late. I'm not going to show you it because I can tell you with confidence that every day of January and February where I was supposed to be somewhere at a time for that day, at least one instance of that day, I was late for something. I'm late for everything. I'm not saying that people should just suck it up. I'm just, this is something that I need to contend with and it's something that I need to do better. I need to respect other people's time. I need to be more mindful of the time that I spend because it's there's so much wasted time in there. But even though I have no real resolution, I'm not like, it's not like I'm doing better. It's the start of March and I'm still late for everything. When we try to stay awesome, that doesn't mean that we're automatically going to be awesome at everything. It's going to be a struggle to try to take care of things. We can't be awesome all the time. And sometimes you just really have to work hard in order to improve yourself. So I'm going to try my best to not be late, but I'm going to fail a lot along the way. Stay awesome.